Hey everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show. Thank you for tuning in to watch today. I just want to say I'm sorry I haven't had a lot of videos up over the last two weeks. We are at this point um, a little under three weeks away from shooting season three of my national television show, The Candy Show. And so it gets very, very stressful for me at this time. I also have a day job. So I don't have quite as much time. That's the bad news. But the good news is, as we get closer to production, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to do a bunch of videos, take you into the venue before the set decorators get there, show you what it looks like beforehand, bring you in and show you what it looks like afterhand or afterhand, afterwards. I'll also bring you to the set with me on some of the days that we shoot so you get a sense of what a day is like on a television set for those of you who don't work in television and have been curious. So, um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for all that good stuff. And after we get the show behind us, um, which is shooting April 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Um, we'll have all kinds of videos again and that giveaway I promised. We're going to do a giveaway uh, in celebration of the fact that I have a new HD camera. And I do have a goal. I'm trying to get 250 subscribers in the first quarter of 2012. And if I do that, I'll add an extra something to the giveaway. And the giveaway is going to have stuff for both guys and gals. So um, everything from you know, good East Coast CDs and tattoo shop t-shirts to um, some great makeup pieces. I, I think I'm going with the giveaways. But enough about that. Let's get to March's Sweet Treats, which is what we're here to talk about, which is basically my favorite items that uh, I've really been using a lot over the last month. And today I have uh, some makeup pieces and then some non-makeup pieces. And we're going to start with a non-makeup piece. Dun, 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 dun. Dental floss seems like a weird thing to put in a sweet treat. However, as you know, good dental health is important for everybody and you should floss your teeth at least once a day. And in fact, it even affects your heart because the same plaque that builds up on your teeth um, it can leave your mouth and get clogged up in your heart. So says Dr. Oz um, in his book, You, the Owner's Manual. So flossing your teeth is important. If you are like me, I have some of my teeth in the back are very, very close together. And even though I floss regularly, I do find when I have to like force a floss down in between and it hits the gums, it hurts. And then it makes me bummed out not wanting to get back there with the floss. I'm gonna pick a special palette. To this stuff, Crest Glide, is my favorite, favorite lip gloss, or lip gloss, my favorite dental floss. Um, and I'll show you. Let's try to hold a piece up in front of my hand. You see how it's not a skinny piece of thread, how it's almost like a piece of tape. And I think they do in fact call it dental tape. And it has a bit of stretch to it. It slides so much easier down in between teeth that are really, really close together um, that I find I tend to floss a lot more diligently when I have the glide than I do with uh, just about any other kind of dental floss. So I've sort of decided that for me, that's it from now on. It'll only be the glide dental floss. The other thing I wanted to tell you about, I got from QVC. I love the idea of mineral foundation. And my wife, Denise, has the kind of skin that I think, oh yeah, you could just dust powder on that. She has this beautiful skin that's kind of like coffee with three cream in it. And it's like that even when she wakes up in the morning, which is very frustrating for somebody like me who has broken capillaries and blotches and skin spots or sunspots and everything else. So um, I am a full coverage foundation kind of girl. I've always, even when I was younger, worn full, full coverage foundation. And even with that, it doesn't cover all the discoloration I have. So um, one of the people I watch a lot on YouTube is Emily, uh, she goes by Emily Noel 83, I think it is, the beauty broadcast, Emily Addington, and she uses a lot of Laura Geller products. So I wanted to try some Laura Geller and they don't sell it at Sephora, so I went on QVC and I noticed that she had a kit. And as I've said in past videos, if you can get a kit, it's always more cost effective. So I noticed that there was a kit with her spackle in it, which is her face primer. And that was one of the items that Emily had recommended. So I wanted to try it. Included in the kit was this, which to me looked like just a face powder, but it's not. It's called Balance and Brighten Foundation with an SPF of 15. And you can get it in like light, regular, and dark, which I thought, okay, 
Like the idea of a mineral foundation in itself is a wonderful idea. I think it's really cool to think about in the summer being able to flip a bit of powder on my face, which I do when I'm going to the beach. But reality is it doesn't give me enough coverage. Um, and really, it just it's not the kind of heavy duty foundation I like. So the idea of a powder that only comes in three colors, uh, I just thought as if this is a foundation. This is what it looks like inside. See, it's got a bunch of colors for it. You cannot freaking believe the kind of coverage it has. It is, um, it, it goes on really easy. You don't even feel it going on. In fact, I kind of flipped it around. I thought, oh, this isn't even working. And then when I looked, it gave me serious coverage. I would call it, like, it's not as full coverage as, say, you know, the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, which is like paint almost. But it is unbelievably good everyday coverage. In fact, I just had a gig in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And this is all I brought for foundation because I didn't want to check my luggage, so I didn't want a lot of liquids with me. And I bought, I had my new Sigma Travel brushes with me and just a big fluffy brush. And, you know, you build it up till you get enough um, to cover all the, what you want to cover. It was incredible. So Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation. It has an SPF of 15 in it, um, which, who you know, you can't complain anytime you get extra sun coverage. So if you're a gal who likes a lot of, you know, good coverage foundation, highly, highly recommend. I was so shocked at how good that was. Uh, the other foundation I want to talk to you about that I've been using pretty much every day over the last month, uh, it's a foundation I've talked about before. It's Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And I have been using it with the Revlon Photo Ready con uh, under eye concealer. I guess I could have put that so you can read it a little better. There you go. These two together have been giving me all I need when I go to work in the morning. Uh, my uh, cover, co sorry, my color for the foundation is 04 Nude, which is kind of light. As summer comes, that'll be a little light for me. Um, but it, it leaves a nice shimmer on the face. It gives me good coverage. It lasts throughout the entire day. And I just pump two pumps of it out. And on my hand, it has a great pump top, so you're not trying to shake the bottle. I do two pumps, just kind of spread it where I'm going to want it, and put some Fix Plus on a flat top kabuki, and I just buff it into my face, and it's seamless. You can't really see that I'm wearing foundation, and then I finish it off with this really easy to use, fast, fast, fast in the morning, because it's in a stick form, um, this great condition, um, concealer, I keep wanting to call it a conditioner, this great concealer that goes with it. So I highly recommend those, and they're drugstore finds, so nice and affordable, and they've really been serving my purpose. I've been wearing them every single day for the last month. One of my sweet treats for March is a Lorac. Now, I used to call this Lorac, but um, again, the beauty broadcast tells me it is actually pronounced Lorac, and apparently she spoke to somebody at the company who clarified that for her. So this Lorac blush, they're baked matte satin blush and this is in the color flaunt you see how gorgeously pink that is just incredible um it's what i'm wearing right now on my cheeks it's a very buildable color while it looks really you know bright and crazy in the pan you can make it a very light blush or you can really get some kind of 80s retro color going on there depending on how you want to layer it and even though it has a lot of sparkle um, in the pan, when you put it on, the sparkle is very, very subtle. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really loving this blush. I usually rotate my blushes every day, but I have to say that the Lorac, uh, the Lorac Matte Satin Blush, I've been wearing quite a bit, and I loved it with this look today with the MAC Violetta Lip. Um, and some of my crazy glittery pink eyeshadow. It was just the perfect blush to offset that. And I really like a blush that if I'm traveling, I can take this and I'm going out shopping in the day, I can put a light sweep of it on and it'll look just, you know, like a natural glow. Or if I'm going out at night, I can build it up and get some real color because who wants to carry a whole bunch of stuff when they travel? So highly recommend that. I've been loving it. Another thing, if you've watched my uh, tutorials, you're, you're probably laughing because of how small this is. I can't even show it to you in full size. This is my Anastasia brow pencil. And look at how much I love this pencil. Look at how, look at the size of it. There's nothing left to it. There's like, but I am like so like using every last bit of it. 
It comes with a spoolie on one side. It comes with a spoolie on one side. And then, of course, the coloring tip on the other side. Anastasia stuff is expensive. There's no getting around it. Um, I'm trying to remember. We now have Anastasia at Mills in Halifax, but when I got this, I had to order it from Sephora. I think I paid close to $40 for it, I think. Um, when was that? That was three or four years ago before Mills started carrying Anastasia. And I use this every single day. And I, this is the same one. Um, the only time that I use cake shadow or cake brow makeup is if I'm doing, you know, a, an extreme tutorial like this or I'm going out at night and I want my brows a bit extreme. But in terms of an everyday natural look, I use the Anastasia brow pencil. Um, I can't even see anymore what the color on this was, but it's the dark. My hair is black, so I use the dark color of every eyebrow uh, shade. Anyway, if you're someone who's new to coloring in your eyebrows this is a real easy way to do it just nice even feathery strokes the spoolie brush will help you work it through uh, I can't say enough about the Anastasia brow pencil I've tried other brow pencils I find them kind of fake looking the colors aren't true like benefit has one lovely if you're medium toned hair or blonde because they basically have light and medium but they don't have anything if you're black God help you, or Latino, or native like me, they don't have anything for people that have really, really dark hair and dark eyes. And, and you know, it, what's that rule? If you're blonde, your brow color should be one to two shades darker than your hair color. And if you're dark haired, if you're brunette, your brow color should be one to two shades lighter than your hair color. Well, my hair is technically dark brown, but it is almost black. So one to two shades lighter is a very dark brown. And that benefit, it's like a medium brown and then this really ashy blonde. So the Anastasia pencil, it is worth every cent you will pay for it and it will last you forever. You'll be able to watch in my tutorial see when I finally come to the nub of this. Um, one more makeup piece before I move into a final uh, product that I want to show you. This is a cheapy, cheap ass, what do they sell it as? They sell it as actually a base. It is called the LA Splash Sealer and Base. And LA Splash Cosmetics, you can get at most like cheap drugstores. Lawton's has, if you're in Canada, has LA Splash Cosmetics. Um, it is a gross thing to use as a primer, in my opinion, because it comes out too like goopy and sticky. So you see how sticky and goopy that is? So you're thinking, well, why are you naming it as a favorite? I don't use it as uh, an eye primer. I use it to affix glitter to my lids. So I will put on whatever shadow I want. That's why this has a bit of a pink tint to it right now because my doe foot has been getting dirty from my, my uh, shadow because I haven't been taking the time to use a separate applicator. But I'll put on whatever shadow I want. Like today I put on some um, Sugar Pill Cosmetics uh hysteric i think was the color that i used hysteric and magenta a combo then over it i just lightly dab this stuff and then i put my mac pink glitter on top of it i use it to affix glitter to my shadows and it is fantastic for that like it it's not a glue but it's sticky enough that you put it on you you know wait a second or two for it to get a little bit tacky Put your glitter on and your glitter's in place all night. You don't get followed on your cheeks and you can dance, you can do whatever and your glitter will still be in place. I find if I just put glitter without attaching it to something, it will fall off if I sweat or if I become really active. So I really love, and I think, I don't know, I think I paid two or three dollars for this product. So I think it is totally worth it. I wear it every single time I am gonna wear any kind of glitter on my eyes. So highly recommend. Now, the final piece I want to recommend, my, fi my final favorite or sweet treat for the month. This is not a good day. I'm wearing a hat because I have bad hair today because I got up and didn't want to wash my hair and it really needs it. So I just put a hat on instead to hide it. I have always been super comfortable with doing my own makeup, but I am so lousy at doing my own hair. My hairstylist is Nathan McNeil at Thumper Salon in Halifax. And in fact, if you follow me on Twitter um, and you live in the Halifax area, we are going to be doing a giveaway, Nathan and I together, where 
we're going to give some lucky follower, somebody who follows both Nathan and I, uh, will have a chance to win a free haircut and blow dry by Nathan. And if you ever see me on TV or at gigs, it's always Nathan who does my hair. When it looks really good, you know it's him. So the problem is when I travel, I can't, I'm not rich enough to bring Nathan with me. So I'm stuck on my own and I can never blow dry my hair so that it looks decent. It's always a big frizzy mess. And I have very expensive to very cheap hair products recommended by everybody under the sun. I have from like Frederick Fakai and Orbe products down to like Redken products down to Tresemme products and Suave products and L'Oreal products, you name it. Cannot dry my hair that it doesn't look like a rat's nest until I got my latest hair blower. This is the Chi, what is it? The Chi Low EMF Pro Hair Blower. It was a uh, breast cancer blower, which is why it has this lovely pink lace design on it. You see how gorgeous that is? So the fact that it's so pretty just makes me like it even more. But with this hair dryer, and I just want to say this isn't the first time that I've had a good hair dryer. I have had two hair dryers that were hair stylists, style, you know, dryers. In fact, my former hairstylist got me my last dryer. I paid $115 plus customs to have this sent to me. I ordered it on uh, some online place. I can't even remember where. But now I see that you can get Chi here locally um, in Halifax. This hair blower, I can actually dry my hair with. I have a round brush that I use and this blower. Now, does it look like Nathan's? No, I'm not there yet, but it actually looks smooth, you know, relatively smooth when I dry it. Like smooth enough that I can go on stage after I've dried it with this and put like either a flat iron or a curling iron through it. So this is totally such a sweet treat for me uh, for March, for April, for May, for June, July, forever. I am in love with the Chi Pro Hair Dryer. So much so that I think that whenever I have one of my flat irons die, I am gonna try a Chi flattener, a, a Chi straightener, just because I can't believe how um, this hair blower has made a huge difference in my ability to do my own hair. So that's it. That brings us to the end of Candy's Sweet Treats for March 2012. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you're having a wonderful sunny day wherever you are, like we are here in Halifax. And until I see you again, please don't drink and drive. Wear a condom each and every time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.